Ah, you handled your role well. So, my performance was acceptable? Yes, Your Highness. We should now be able to achieve our objective. Let them loose and follow them to the truth. And what will we gain from this exercise? When we have proof they work for the enemy, we'll lock them up again. They'll give us excellent leverage in negotiations with Ura and beyond the negotiations. We stand to gain information about Grandstaff. Grandstaff? Ura has built a gigantic magic engine called Grandstaff. And we suspect they're plotting something. Right now, Ura poses a terrible threat to the entire world. A threat? Our intel has confirmed that the tragedy at Wool Highlands is connected in some way to Grandstaff. If we continue to allow Ura to run rampant, that tragedy could be repeated again at any time. The authorities in our military have voted unanimously to seize Ura as a preventative measure. You plan to start a war? The White Boa is already being converted into a battle flagship, and we've begun assembling troops and arms. This action is for the sake of the entire world. I won't allow it. While your majesty may have other ideas, the people will surely approve these safety measures. In this present magic industrial revolution, your majesty's isolationist policy is pushing the nation to its limit. National isolation promotes peace. <gasps> this new regime must be created for the sake of world peace. We shall spread your majesty's teachings using our nation's military might. You think military force can avert violence? Would you rather see a media fall on Numara? If that were to happen, the people who so adore you would be reduced to ashes in an instant. No. The Grand Staff should not be in the hands of those simple-minded fools in Ura. We Numarans should control it. Then we can use it to maintain peace all over the world. Numara would become the most powerful, peace-loving country in the world. War is inevitable, your majesty. They should just keep quiet, play their role, and smile. Someone get in here, now! 